Guys, happy Monday. I hope that you are having a fabulous Monday so far. It is Monday morning, current time when I'm recording this and I'm doing that on purpose because I want to inspire you with some of the things that I start my day out with. Now, I'm starting my Monday a little bit later. I did not get up until about 8.30 and that is because Saturday night I was still up and sick. Like that, that stomach bug I had all last week was still lingering into Saturday night just the goofiest bug ever it lasts a while so anyway i finally got a really good night's sleep last night which made me feel so much better this morning i literally woke up and i felt like a new human so this is what my days look like especially mondays i like to get my week set up on the right foot now last week since i was sick the entire week sorry my lashes are like sticking together since I was sick the entire week last week, it was really hard for me to make that happen um, and like get on a normal schedule. And I'm feeling very overwhelmed by all the M&M stuff because Mike had to take so much time off and I don't know like where things are at and things like that. So this is where I need to sit down and get that figured out and how I sort through like all of the rest of like who's on the order schedule, etc. Another thing that I like to do on Monday mornings is I like to take it slow and easy for the kids. Um, I find that their days are much better because switching from a an easier going schedule on the weekend to a very tight knit and busy schedule during the week, I like to give them just that transition day. Mondays are a little bit slower. We don't usually get to daycare slash preschool until about 10 o'clock. Um, so or like 10 o'clock, 10.30 usually on Mondays. Um, and then the rest of the days we try to get there earlier and earlier and earlier. And it works out really well for us. I need to start getting Kaya there probably around 8.30. Um, just because once that basement gym is finished, I would like to have a little bit of time to be able to work out and have some time for myself. But, all right. You guys wanna see what I do on a Monday morning? Let me run through it really quick. You guys saw that I got the kids up, we came downstairs and I bring their outfits with me down here and then I will make myself some coffee, I get the kids cereal or whatever they're wanting for breakfast that morning. I love to make them like eggs and toast and they'll have cereal and bagels and cream cheese, all the normal like breakfast things, that that's what the kids have. As far as for me, I do not. I do not have anything for breakfast. I fast until noon and I do have cheat days on Saturdays and I actually cheated on Sunday this week too just because I've been sick like the entire week. I let myself have an extra cheat day. So I'm back on the schedule for today as far as like my keto and my intermittent fasting and I will give you guys a weight loss update. I've been holding off on weighing myself uh, just between like the stomach flu and now I had like a couple of cheat days. Like I wanted to like truly be honest um, so I'm gonna weigh myself on Friday this week and let you guys know where I'm at as far as weight loss. Um, but I like to sit down first things first. And if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Morgan. I have two small kids. I have a five-year-old and an almost two-year-old. I've got two dogs and I own a business with my husband where we make like furniture and we do DIYs and all of the fun things. And I stay at home, I manage that, and I also vlog here on my channel. And I will do videos with my husband over on our Eminem Rustics channel. And that's what I do, that is what I do. I'm also over on TikTok and I've been on this really crazy weight loss journey. Um, and you guys can follow me on Instagram for more like behind the scenes and day to day because I am over there every single day talking to you guys and like letting you like know, and letting you guys know what's going on in my current life, like in my day to day life, very real, honest and raw. So that's what I am doing here this morning is I have to go through all of my social media, like channels if you will um, and go through my to-do list for those uh, go through the to-do list for Eminem Rustics and our orders and look at appointments and all the things for the week just so that I can get my head on straight and I do this by I have lots of notebooks where I write to-do lists I'm old-fashioned I love to take a pen and a paper write everything out um, and set goals for myself for the week. I find that I am the most successful if I write down these goals. You are a stinker pie. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, I know he's wearing a Christmas jammy outfit. All right, so now that the kids are finished up eating, and this is taking me longer obviously because I'm vlogging and I'm trying to show you guys, um, but I will just kind of let them play in the living room, wake up a little bit, um, and then I will get them dressed for the day, brush their hair, get their teeth brushed, 
Um, but I, again, for like organization for myself, I have notebooks, lots of to-do lists. Um, seriously, if I could give you like one like a, like successful life tip it would be to physically write down your goals and your things that you want to get done for the week or the year or the month or whatever it may be because I'm a huge believer in manifestation oh my gosh look you guys this is one thing that Riker has learned to do this week in the last like two weeks probably I'm not a fan I'm not a fan so I have two planners I've talked to you guys about this before um, but for those of you who are new I want to show you I keep two planners and I know this looks like insanity and a lot of people love like digital planners um, but again I like to see my things and like write them out it helps me remember it helps me to visualize them um, so I have a small planner and this is for M&M Rustics and this has our schedule in there and it looks like Kaya got in here as well and decided to write some of her own stuff. <laughs> so this is our schedule. I usually only um, write it out for like the next two months. We are booked out eight to 12 weeks at all times with m, &M Rustics. It has been overwhelming and like so successful and like overwhelming in the most amazing way, I should say. We are scaling it back quite a bit this year because we do have some new business plans for m, &M Rustics and we're so excited to be sharing those with you guys. Um, but it's a completely new venture um, and we will be focusing more so on the DIY realm and like um, renovations and showing you guys how to do like really simple construction like things in your home. Um, things that we have learned along the way. Mostly when I say we, I mean Mike because I am not an expert when it comes to using a saw. When I, it comes to using the tools, I can most definitely use them but I'm not the expert. So that is what I keep in this little guy. And in this bigger one, I like to keep, um, again, I know I've shared this with you guys before, I like to keep all of my personal stuff and this keeps all my social media things. Um, now, the only social media thing that's not in here is the m, &M Rustics YouTube channel. That goes into the m, &M Rustics planner. Keeps, a, keeps it a little bit more separate, especially since all of the m m stuff is mostly Mike. I'm helping him with the videos right now just because he is really, really crazy busy between his normal job that he works. He literally works 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., comes home, and then he works on furniture, um, which is another reason why we have to scale back that furniture business a little bit. Um, and people ask me all the time why we're choosing to scale back the furniture business is because you can only make so much furniture and that can only be so successful. Um, and he is always busy, he's always away, he's always in the shop. So we're trying to find another way for him, to, for us to build our business, but to have him be in the home for us to work together physically and to enjoy more time together, if that makes sense. So that is where we are at as far as m, &M Rustics. We're on this pivotal point. It'll be really fun for you guys to see like from a like outsider standpoint or an entrepreneur yourself this will be really fun for you to experience with us because like as an entrepreneur you do evolve quite a bit through your business we will never stop making furniture it's just not going to be our main focus forever and ever amen um, because again as we said you can only make so much furniture and it gets to be a little bit more difficult when it's like custom designed things and then you try to like hire people it's a little bit more complicated for this side of things. It's not just like a home building business um, where there's like a standard blueprint for everything. My custom creates all of this stuff. So it's very difficult, but we do have some really exciting things in store and we can't wait to take you guys along with us and share that entrepreneurial journey because I feel like more people need to know that there is a way out of your eight to five and your boring mundane jobs because I've been there, done that. I understand I was an accountant for about eight years and I thought I loved what I was doing, but I was obsessed with the organization and being right. I feel because <laughs> in accounting, like you're, there's always an answer to your questions. There's always an answer in there somewhere. It might take a little bit of like puzzling things together, but you can always get to an answer. I think that is what I enjoyed more for myself and pushing myself to become a businesswoman and now realizing that I can be a businesswoman for myself and building my own future and working for myself. I don't report to anybody. My success is not weighed against other people around me, etc. 
I'm able to put all of that energy and time back into myself, back into my family, my children, into the places that it really truly matters. So anyway, I like go on tangents about this all the time and I'm like, be an entrepreneur. But I can't wait to take you guys along with us and like share some of those more like behind the scenes things. So, um, and then in here, social media channel stuff. Um, I keep all of my YouTube videos that I'm planning in here. I keep um, all of my Instagram things in here, my TikTok ideas, that stinker boy. Hang on one second. All right, so with all of that being said, what I am trying to lead up to here as well is I do have an announcement that I am going to be creating another channel which sounds so crazy, I know, but bear with me. So right now I've really been struggling because my channel is kind of a mix of a cleaning channel and like mom lifestyle, etc. And I have finally decided that I am going to separate my home videos and cleaning videos for you guys. So that will be on my new channel, which announcing I am launching at home with Morgan, which is basically a spin-off of my own channel. You guys are not gonna be getting any different content really between the two channels. I just, I have to separate my genres because right now on YouTube, like long story short, in like the science -y and math stuff, the algorithm is getting confused because it doesn't know what kind of channel I am. You guys definitely know and you guys love the content that I'm putting out. But another reason why I'm separating my uh, content is because some of you are only here to listen to like my weight loss and my mom lifestyle and my like day in the life videos. You guys like to just like chill and hang out with me and I love that so much. And some of you are really not fans of the cleaning. I did take a poll and only 27% of you wanted me to separate it out. Um, but the few of you that did want me to separate it out gave me some really great explanations and I'm very grateful for that because it's exactly what I was thinking as well because there are times where I'm not in the mood for, to watch cleaning videos. Now, I do watch cleaning videos as well, but I wanna see like, like okay, what kind of cleaning products is that person using? How are they decorating your, their home? Um, what kind of vacuum do they have? What kind of like, do they clean their carpets? Like what are some monthly tasks, weekly tasks that I need to be doing? That is what I'm going to dive deeper into over on this new channel for you guys. And I have all of the videos already planned. I've got room makeovers. I have three room makeovers that will be going live within the first like six weeks of this channel launching, which I launch it next Monday. And I am ecstatic. Um, by the time that this video goes live today, I should actually have my at home with Morgan channel live. So make sure that you guys head over there and subscribe and stay tuned for the very first video that will go live next Monday. The uploading schedule for At Home With Morgan will be Mondays and Thursdays, and then the uploading schedule for my channel, for my Morgan Byland channel, will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday still, but you're gonna be getting more of the, like, what I eat in a day content, and day in the life content, and grocery haul content, and like, mom life tips, and sleep training, and, like clothing haul, all the things that you guys really want to see and you guys really love here on my channel, you're going to see more of it. So just think like all of me and my life stuff will be over here and all of the home decor and like home shopping and the cleaning and the organizing, all of that will be over on the At Home With Morgan channel and I will be getting more in depth. It's going to be a much cleaner channel. This is gonna be a good transition. This is a good thing. This is more videos. So I would love, love, love if you guys would consider subscribing to my At Home With Morgan channel. It will be linked down below for you guys. And then we'll have all of the vlogs and fun things over here on my channel. So, all right guys, I, next thing I need to do this morning after doing that big announcement for you guys, I need to let my dogs outside because I forgot. Um, Mike lets them outside at like five in the morning when he goes to work and then I let them out again at eight. Um, actually, it's 9.45, still close enough. I'm gonna let them out and then I need to get the kids dressed and get going. I know this is gonna be a longer video, but this is gonna be packed full of all the juicy stuff. Like I said, lo lots of announcements. You guys can really see what my morning looks like. And this is like real time Monday morning. So I hope if I can get this up by like, Hopefully I can get this up by like one or two so that you guys can like still have like your Monday morning routine like fresh on your mind. Oh my gosh, Aspen, you are the neatest girl. You are the cutest boy. Are you wearing your sister's boots? Huh? All right, Coda, spin. Oh, 
Wanna go party? And for those of you who do not live in the Great White Tundra where it is freezing AF all the time. Actually, not all the time. Just in the winter. It's just cold in the winter. You have to start your car like twice, okay? I have an auto start. I'm starting it from my living room. Making sure it warms up for about 20 minutes before I even take off in it. only a couple meltdowns but um, next thing up on the list is I write out on Mondays I like to I not I like to I have to what am I talking about I have to write out um, daycare checks so Kaya goes to daycare preschool um, full-time Monday through Friday um, we don't get there at like 8 a.m. we should get there like you know between 9 and 10 30 it's 10 30 right now I'm not doing a very good job this morning. Um, anyways, I have to write out my check for that every Monday. So that is what I'm doing. And it is a toasty 11 degrees Fahrenheit today in Minnesota. What's the date? The 25th. It is my dad's 50th birthday today. Which, as you guys know, we were in the cities this weekend celebrating for his 50th birthday and that was super fun so all right lock it up i bring the dogs with me i usually don't bring aspen because she can be kind of a stinker and she barks at everything coda's just an old man and he's quiet this is my baby coda oh yes both black ones i copy paste Okay, so we just got back from dropping Kaya off at preschool slash daycare. It's 11 o'clock right now. Um, Riker's constantly hungry. So I'm going to, I just have like Lunchables in the fridge that I grabbed for our road trip um, on Friday. I've got leftovers, so I'm gonna give him some of those. He's got some peanut butter pretzels, the peanut butter filled pretzels. That's like one of um, the kids' is and Mike's favorite snacks for me to grab from Sam's Club. I wanna show you what they look like, but Riker won't let me grab them um, and then I'm starting to get hungry so I'm going to prepare myself some wings <laughs> it's like all I eat is like wings and greens and things like that so um, I'm gonna make myself some lunch and then I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna wrap up this like spend the morning with me vlog slash day in the life of a mom it's like morning in the life of a mom really okay so now it is like 12 15 um, I just spent the last like 45 minutes or so going through all of our customers and the schedule and things like that and touching base with customers, updating them on pickup dates and delivery dates and things like that, going through what the next month looks like and um, we will be finishing most of our orders by March 12th. So within like the next like six and a half-ish, seven weeks, we are completely done um, with the orders that we have um, on schedule right now. So anyways, we should be done by March 12th and um, yeah, then we're gonna be transitioning over into more DIYs and renovations and things like that. There's gonna be some huge, huge progress made um, into March and April as far as like renovations in the house. So stay tuned for that because there's gonna be lots of fun stuff um, coming up over the next um, little while for M&M Rustics. Um, we just needed to get through the rest of our furniture list before we were able to really dive into those DIYs and home renovations for you guys over on the M&M channel. 
which is why it's been a little bit like stagnant over there. Um, we just don't have enough hours in the day to get everything done that we want to. But um, yeah, it should be it should be a fun next like little while, the next couple months. Um, I'm really pumped to get that content out there for you guys and to finally like finish up the house. I ordered a ton of furniture um, last night. There were just a few pieces, not a few pieces. There was like, there was one, two, three, four, five pieces of furniture that I ordered yesterday to kind of finish up um, some of the, to finish up some of these spaces in the house. Again, I will have some room makeovers coming very soon for you guys and I'm really excited. So anyway, again, I should have that At Home With Morgan channel live at this point. So be sure that you go and check it out down below. Subscribe if you love all of the home content that you see here on my channel because it will be moved over to the At Home With Morgan as of next Monday. Again, I'm super excited. I feel like this is a really good like change for the channel. And for those of you who love both styles of my content, just be sure that you are subscribed to both of the channels. And if you like one or the other, now you can pick which of those you would rather be watching. Um, anyway, all right, super pumped. I will see you guys on Wednesday for another vlog, okay? Bye guys.